So I was taking a look at all my unfinished projects around the studio and they were piling up and I thought I would kind of walk through them with you and tell you maybe why they are still unfinished. Uh, most cases it's because I learned something and I wanted to go on to something else or I couldn't figure out how to finish it or I just got bored, you know, because that happens. But I just thought it might be kind of interesting and for me it's a time to uh, pat myself on the back and say, wow, Look at how things have evolved. And these are in no particular order. I do think I kind of started this one towards the end of last year. But um, let's just see what I've got. And, and this was one of the first doodle cloths I started. And I absolutely love it. It's got a lot more color than I normally have. And I want to get back and finish it. It is uh, stitched on a piece of, I guess it's an old sheet. And I used it as a paint cloth. So it's got like paint things on it and then you know when I decided I was done with using it as a paint wipe up lots of little blotches of acrylic paint in here which is very hard to stitch through. Um, I just kind of dipped it in some dye water that I had so then I got the yellow from it. What I have learned here is this sheeting is so thin that it is difficult when I was doing things like bullion knots. Now I might be better at it now this was when I was first learning how to do these. But in retrospect, see there's a lot of puckering. In retrospect, uh, maybe I should have put a stabilizer on it. So I'm kind of thinking I might go ahead and put a stabilizer on the back of it. Uh, and it might be done. I mean, I might just go ahead and call it done, put a stabilizer on the back of it, put a backing sheet, but I might wanna do a little bit more. I mean, what the heck? Why not keep filling it up? Because there's just, there's so much juicy goodness in there. But the lesson I learned on this one was it, it's totally fine to use something that's got paint on it, but you need to think about where your stitches are going to go. And a thin material is fine. It dyes really nice. But you might want to think about a stabilizer. But this was really a lot of fun. Then I started playing around with some neutrals. And I, I think this is done. Again, uh, this was me learning. You know, it's a thin piece of muslin and it was a kind of loose weave and it was a lot of fun to work on i think that let's see which side was right so yeah i'm pretty sure that was my right side up uh, so i enjoyed this but what i didn't think about was how i was going to finish it so now i think i put it aside because i just wasn't sure where i was going to go with it now i think i'll just go ahead and put a backing fabric on it and call it done as a wall hanging and this was when i started right after that and I just, uh, I don't know, I just kind of ran out of ideas. So I'll probably go back to that, stay in these color family, add some more bullion knots and some beads. And again, this will be a wall hanging. But square doesn't excite me quite as much anymore. So I can see myself thinking a little bit more carefully going forward about what shape I might want to do on my pieces. Which is what happened here. This was a longer piece of felt that I had uh, stitched some lace on and then painted. And I don't even remember why I decided to cut it, but now it's got this odd shape. And I guess it's going to end up being a wall hanging because it doesn't quite make it as a journal cover or a vessel because of the way it's going. So I think I will just continue to doodle on this, practice some stitches. That's fine. Um, and just kind of fill it up with stitch and we'll just see where it goes. This was an experiment. And I, I like the way it turned out, and then I just kind of stopped. This was before I was doing a whole lot of embroidery. It's just a scrap piece of sheet, and then I took a lot of my little dyed pieces of green and just stitched them on. It could be a nice journal cover, and that's probably what I'll just stick it in the shop uh, when I open the shop back up again like that. But I think now if I was going to do this, I would probably just stitch around the edges so that I could come in and do some different embroidery stitches. And of course I could bring some other fabric on top of it now, but I figure why cover that up? I think it's just, sometimes you get to the end of a project and you just have to say, okay, I learned what I needed to learn on this one. You know, it's okay to let it go. This was another one of those pieces that I did not think about a couple of things. I didn't think about what it was gonna be. Uh, I didn't really know where I was going with it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I jumped all over the place and I think I need to come in. Uh, there's a lot of puckering going on, but I think that's just going to have to be a part of the piece. I'm ready to be done with it, but I can't be because I did odd little things out in the 
outskirts. So I need to come in and finish these bullion knots and then I can call this one done. Uh, I'm really happy with it. It's much more vibrant of a purple than it's showing right now on the screen. Really beautiful shades of purple. This was something I just recently started, just playing around with circles, and I think I'm just going to doodle on that and it's gonna become a vessel. This is a piece that's been hanging around for a year. Judy, Judy, if you see this, I am getting close to finishing. I had started to add a bunch of feather stitch in here and I decided it was too heavy so I'm taking that out. It was not giving any space for the eye to rest. And this is another one that I learned early on that if I'm going to stitch on something this very fine, this is a, an old linen tablecloth and it's really soft and really floppy. Um, I should have put the stabilizer cloth on it first. I didn't, and I'll be able to finish it just fine, but it would have been a little bit easier on me to do some of these things if I had the stabilizer cloth on it, and that's okay. I'm really happy with this. I think all I'm going to do is take out the feather stitch, and I'm going to add some more bullion knots and French knots, and then finish this one off. It'll be done. I think this is pretty close to being done, except for the beads. I can see I've got bare spots where I didn't do the beads. Uh, this is not a vibrant purple, but it is in shades of purple. And I will finish this off as a vessel. This does have the stabilizer on it, and it makes it a lot easier to stitch on. Here's another one that is almost, but not quite done. I think I just need to make sure that I have some balance of beads everywhere, and I might need to add a couple more of these darker bullion knots. Maybe not. It might be just fine when I pull this one up into a vessel as well. I think maybe that, maybe that one can be done. It just needs to be finished off. Now, this was going to be my original triptych book, and it just, I just don't think it's going to work. I don't think the cover is going to work out quite the way I planned it. You know, unfortunately, I just, I didn't measure anything because, you know, Susan and the ruler we are not the best of friends, but I am going to figure out something to do with what I was going to use as the cover. So I was going to do this and open it up like this, and it just, um, it wasn't quite working. So instead, these guys are going to go on their own, and I've just got to do the beadwork, and then I will hang them together, and there'll be a, a triptych hanging like that. And I have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to do with this. I might just put it on another piece of fabric and then just keep adding more stitches. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it like it is. But I figured out from that what I wanted to do with a triptych. And it's this piece. Not quite done. Um, I did, let's see, it might be out of order here. Let's figure out. That's the center. That's one side, and that's the other side. And so I am going to add beads on these. Now, something I did here, I started off, if you've seen this piece in the beginnings, it's lace, and I was thinking I was going to have much more lace showing, and I kind of got carried away with stitches. And so, you know, and I changed colors. I was going to keep it all in the, the creamy colors. Oh, well. Uh, so I guess I'll have to make another one that's really more lacy, but I am going to add beads in here to pop this up, and then it's going to go together inside of here. And the outside cover is just feather and fern stitch, and it feels so yummy. I love it. So this one's close to being done. This, and it's going to come across on your screen in who knows what color, but let me tell you, in reality, this is a deep reds, kind of like a dark garnet red and little bits of green. And the background fabric is uh, some beigey green kind of coral reds. I don't know, but it's red. Basically, when you look at it, you see red. And I think I just have some French knots to add to here and then the beads. And this, again, is going to be a vessel. And then we have the trees. And all I have left to do on the trees... I just have to finish a little bit more of the seed stitch. It's really close and I just keep putting it off, but my goal for January is just to really work on finishing things. Uh, the beadwork will take some time, but I should be able to get through it pretty quickly. 
because there's so many new projects I want to do, so many new things I want to show you. So I just thought I would let you know um, what I have learned on all of these projects is to think, probably the most important thing I've learned, I guess I'll say, is to think about the end result. I already knew when I started this tree picture, because it's kind of big, that it was going to be a wall hanging and it was not going to be framed. It was going to have these wonderful loose edges, which I still have to add to the top. I knew that. I knew when I started this that it was going to be a vessel. I knew when I started this that it was going to be a book that folded into itself. The earlier pieces in the year, I wasn't really thinking. I was just playing with stitches, and that's fine. They were doodle cloths, but it does affect the end result. So you kind of want to think about that. You kind of want to think about, are you going to need a stabilizer fabric, what you're stitching on? But most of all, you kind of want to think, are you having a good time? And if not, then you move on to something else, which is why I, at the moment, have so many unfinished projects, because I just kept following the fun. And now I'm going to go back and finish them.